Hello everyone, this is Katie Anagnostos and this is a Trade Planning with Options video for May 15th, 2023. First, our legal disclaimer, the options trades that I demo and follow up on are trade ideas when I talk about closing, adjusting, managing them. I'm educating around management techniques, best practices, theories around risk management and profit taking, and highlighting aspects of options trading that we encounter as we follow these trade ideas. This disclaimer is specifically related to options trading. For full legal information, please go to the Ask Slim website or email matt at askslim.com. Let's get started. Next up is Google. This is the weekly chart. We formed our intermediate low three weeks ago, we had a very bullish candle last week, uh, giving us bottom confirmed for the weekly time frame on the cycle low timing tracker. The market conditions monitor is also showing very bullish trade setup for the short term time frame. As you uh, can see by this chart, we are projecting move up into that intermediate target zone. Over on the daily chart, we are in the middle of the daily cycle on positive momentum with both the reversal scout and the slim ribbon. Now we don't have another daily cycle timing window for another month. As you can see here from RV's notes from last week, uh, Google is extended on the upside and although this is bullish, we want to see the moving averages catch up. So over on the Tasty Trade platform, Google has the lowest IV rank of the symbols we have looked at, 0 0.7, and implied volatilities in the 20s. So what would make the most sense in here would be to wait for a pullback below, let's say, at least the 115 level. We have a 23.6% FIB retracement level at 114.74, so we'd want to see it get below that into these uh, ribbons and have that area hold. And at that time, it would make sense to wait for a signal on the lower time frame charts or maybe a slim ribbon PO momentum continuation signal. And then we could set up something like a call debit spread in here. Now I'm going to show you hypothetical strikes as if we were doing that trade now. But as I said, we're going to wait for a pullback in Google to give us the highest profit probability entry. So the way I like to set up debit spreads is to buy one or two strikes in the money. Let's say we were to buy the 115 call and then sell an out of the money call to reduce our cost basis. Let's say we sold the 120 call. That gives us a $5 wide debit spread. In this particular case, we would pay about $2.63. That is our max loss. Max profit is the difference between the width of the spread and the debit that we paid. So in this case, that would be $2.37. Now, debit spreads that get set up this way are around a 50-50 uh, probability. As I mentioned, we are waiting for a pullback, so the strikes will likely be different at the time that this trade is activated. If we do get a pullback, then the lower time frames are going to be what we need to watch. They will likely go to negative momentum during that pullback, and then our signal to enter could be a return to positive momentum on those lower time frame charts, or possibly on the daily chart, a momentum continuation signal with the slim ribbon PO. So keep an eye out for that. Now, if you are interested in the Tasty Trade platform, which is our preferred options trading platform, please go to the Ask Slim homepage. You can click on the Marketing Partners tab and the Tasty Trade link in there. If you open an account with them through our link on this page, that will help you with some bonuses and it will also help us. So please do consider checking that out. The last symbol I want to show you today is LVS, Las Vegas Sands. Here is the weekly chart. Now we are in the declining phase of the weekly cycle with the weekly cycle timing window coming up between June 12th and July 21st. Momentum is still positive on the weekly chart. Switching over to the daily chart, you'll notice that we have broken below this cycle low support. If I remove these FIB levels, you'll be able to see that better. We have broken 
below the cycle low support, we have a negative reversal scout and the slim ribbon went from positive to neutral on Friday. So Las Vegas Sands is also found on the cycle low timing tracker in the in sync box, which means that this current daily cycle uh, matches up with that weekly cycle timing window. And I believe this next one does too, it comes in later July and the weekly cycle timing window also goes through late July. So we could get our intermediate low here in this daily cycle or out at the end of the next one. Now the market conditioner, uh, excuse me, the market conditions monitor shows slightly bearish. So we are targeting these areas between 58.90 and 57.08 out at the end of this daily cycle, which is in mid-June. Over on Tasty Trade, we are going to set up a downside butterfly that is centered around that uh, 57 and a half strike. And what we're going to do is buy wings that are $7.50 away from that. So sell two 57.50 puts, buy one 50 put, and buy one 65 put. And we're going to do that for a debit of $3. Now $300, that is our max loss. Our max profit is if we pin this short strike at expiration at that time, max profit would be $450. Now, because we have to pin that strike at expiration, butterflies are very low probability trades. This one is showing 49% probability of profit, and that's relatively high for a butterfly, but it's because our wings are relatively wide. If you were to narrow the distance, let's say, we move these wings in a little bit, you will pay less, but you'll notice that your probability of a profit also is much lower. So let's move this back to what we had. Uh, we do have negative deltas in here, and we do have a positive daily theta right around $3. Here is the risk graph of the butterfly. Um, now, because butterflies are low probability trades, our profit target is low. We're not really trying for max profit, although you can certainly do that if you like. Our profit target is going to be 25 to 30% of the debit paid. So let's say about 75 to $100 per butterfly. So that is trade planning with options for May 15th. You can see the details of these trade ideas on the options trade idea tracker. And as always, please feel free to reach out on Discord or via email to katie at askslim.com if you have any questions or feedback.